you saw the title of this video, the Amazon purge is coming. Is it coming today, tomorrow, next month? We don't know, but one thing we do know is that it's coming. What's up guys, Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. So as some of you may have heard from a recent Bloomberg article, the Amazon purge is coming. Amazon is set to unleash a long feared purge of small suppliers. Now, before I break all of this down and tell you how it's gonna affect you, I do have to give a shout out to my boy Alex who left this updated article in the comment section in one of my recent videos. So shout out to him. Now, we actually talked about this a few months ago when Amazon did this for the first time. Claims came out that Amazon was no longer gonna do business with their smaller suppliers. Suppliers they were working with through the Vendor Central platform. Instead, they would have all of those suppliers migrate to a Seller Central account away from the Vendor Central account and sell as a third party seller like all of us do. So after that article came out, Amazon ended up retracting all of those statements and just continuing business as usual, acting like nothing ever happened. So all of those smaller suppliers went from completely panicked to relieved overnight. But now Amazon has done this again. Well, sort of. The writer of the Bloomberg article claims that according to three people that are familiar with Amazon's plans, Amazon is planning on cutting ties with all of their smaller suppliers. Smaller suppliers being suppliers that are doing less than 10 million in revenue per year. Amazon is doing this because they wanna focus more on bigger name brands like Procter & Gamble, Sony, and Lego. So Amazon's got three moles. Lord Bezos is not gonna be happy about this. So all of these smaller suppliers are panicking once again since the release of this article because they rely so much on Amazon making those weekly purchase orders or bi-weekly purchase orders from them. Now they will have to open up a Seller Central account and learn the whole process, learn how to sell from there completely from scratch. Now Amazon did come out with a statement denying all of these claims, saying that they were inaccurate and they were just flat out wrong. Now, do I believe Amazon? Absolutely not, and you shouldn't either, especially if you sell directly to Amazon. Because if you really think about it, it's very simple what's going on here. Let's hypothetically say we believe Amazon. They may be false right now. They might continue business as usual for the next six months or maybe the next year, but eventually this will happen. 100% that this will happen, that they will cut ties with their smaller suppliers. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually they will. And why do I think they're gonna do this? Well, the first clue is that this isn't the first time this has happened. This is the second time that it's happened in the last two months. And it's pretty obvious that this is the direction they wanna go because if you put yourself in Amazon's shoes, so let's say you run the business, you run Amazon. So you own half of the online retail space with your platform, your platform being amazon.com. And in your platform, over half of your sales come from third-party sellers. And of each sale that a third-party seller makes, you get your cut. And for the most part, you make more money when a third-party seller makes a sale than when you sell that exact same product. But the biggest difference is that when a third-party seller makes a sale, Amazon doesn't have to worry about placing purchase orders. They don't have to worry about storing the inventory on their own behalf and they don't have to worry about paying employees to manage all of their vendor central accounts. They just have to provide the FBA services on the behalf of the seller, but they aren't taking any of the risk. The risk of buying thousands and thousands of units of a product and then that product dying out and now they have all that inventory in their warehouse. This by far makes the most sense for Amazon. Why would they continue to place all of these orders every week from their smaller suppliers when they can just turn those suppliers into third party sellers and they're gonna be getting more money from them each time that they make a sale right this makes the most sense because now they take less of the risk and they make more money and if you're currently selling on Amazon and you don't take this as an obvious sign of what's to come then I can't help you now another thing that was mentioned was that they estimate it takes about 120 days for a supplier to go from vendor central to seller central and be proficient in it now I would say this is a pretty accurate timeline especially if they're trying to do everything on their own because they're gonna make a ton of mistakes along the way that they're gonna have to learn from and then continue the process from there. But what I think is gonna happen is that a lot of these suppliers are gonna try to make up that lost revenue from Amazon right away. Some of them might go to Seller Central and start trying to really grind on the Seller Central platform and try to you know, get all that revenue back up, but a lot of them are just gonna be more open to selling to third-party sellers because if you think about it, they just lost a huge revenue source for their company, right? Amazon, the revenue source, because Amazon's not placing those weekly orders anymore. So if you come knocking on their door, pretty much with cash in hand, telling them that 
if you're gonna give them this cash for what they have, chances are they're not gonna turn you away because they need to make up that revenue somewhere else because now they're not getting it from Amazon. They are gonna get it from the third party platform, which is Seller Central, but it's gonna be slower because now they're doing it one sale at a time opposed to just giving Amazon a huge purchase order every week. And also a lot of suppliers, I don't think are gonna to wanna to take four months to hire somebody to train them and have them just designated to Seller Central. I think some of them are just gonna to turn to wholesalers and just start selling off their inventory that way. But those are just my opinions and let me know what you guys think. What do you think Amazon is gonna do here? Do you think they're actually gonna cut their ties from them or do you think they're just gonna keep business as usual? One thing we know for sure guys is that Lord Bezos isn't around. So start contacting the suppliers, start knocking on their doors so you can start getting those wholesale accounts and you can start making some more money. Now, if you don't know how to find suppliers, then you're gonna wanna check out the video on the screen where I show you exactly how to do that. Or you can check out the link down below in the description and I show you a few more ways for finding suppliers. I'll see you guys in the next one.